I'm old. When did you get started with uh, Lola's 1985. Well, in 1985, a manufacturer came into my laboratories, into my tissue repair research unit, and left this marvellous piece of equipment. So I asked him what it did, and he said it produces light, and I thought, well, so what? There's light around us all the time. And we did what I call a Mickey Mouse experiment. We took a few white mice, we anaesthetized them, we made little cuts in their skin, so we treated them immediately after operation, and then every day for five days. At the end of five days, the mice were killed, and then the tissue that had been injured was removed. Meanwhile, we'd been photographing the wounds as they healed. We did histology and we found out that the light had accelerated the resolution of inflammation. So we'd gone on to making granulation tissue more quickly. Granulation tissue is full of blood vessels, which is useful, and also cells called myofibroblasts. And they cause wound contraction. They pull the edges of the wound together. We found out that the inflammatory cells had gone away more quickly the proliferative cells, fibroblasts and endothelial cells, had got there more quickly. We'd accelerated healing, and we'd also accelerated contraction, wound contraction, which was not what I expected. I thought, a few photons can't do anything. I was wrong. I was proved wrong. And then I got really interested. Why? So from then on, well, for a good 10 years, I tried to find out why. And every time I got an answer to a question, I got six more questions. And that's how things have progressed.